Come back. Hurricane season runs for six months from June to November. That's half the year. But did you know that meteorologists watch different regions of the Atlantic in different months for storm development? Chief Meteorologist Ben Jones is here with the specifics on storm origins and what he keeps his eye on in the individual months. Every year we turn our eye to the tropics as summer begins, but from the start we watch very specific areas for development. Now the past seven years we've seen storms develop in the days leading up to the season, which begins June 1st. But in June we aren't necessarily watching waves rolling off of Africa, that's later. Instead we watch for development in the Bay of Campeche, Gulf of Mexico, the Northern Caribbean, and off the Atlantic coast. One favored track takes the storms into Texas, while another one can curve storms through the Gulf and then up the East Coast. The tracks in July, well, they're similar to June, but we also begin to watch areas near the Bahamas. One of these favored tracks was very similar to the one Alberto took in 1994, you may remember. Of course, Alberto came in July. There is another favored track that sends those storms up the Atlantic seaboard. Now, Georgia typically won't see many effects when high pressure keeps these storms off the coast. August is when things really begin to heat up. The hot spot for development is out in the islands as African waves begin to cross the Atlantic. Oftentimes, these storms make their way through the Caribbean and into the Gulf. They can also go north of the islands, into the Bahamas, and then the U.S. Others curve around the Bermuda High, like we just talked about. September, now this is the peak of hurricane season. Tropical development is likely just about everywhere in the Atlantic. Tropical waves from Africa can steer clear of the Caribbean and find their way along the East Coast, or they make it into the Caribbean, eventually ending up in the Gulf of Mexico. In October, we change it up. Cold fronts begin coming out of the Arctic again, steering a lot of these storms northwest. You can kind of see the curve there of a carved in cold front. The warm Atlantic waters still make for favorable conditions, just with different steering mechanisms. But most often we see storms run into fronts and then they turn. Finally, in November, waters begin to cool down with front steering storms away even more. This is when we can begin to relax here in central Georgia. And if you want to know more about how storms get their names, the patterns of El Nino or La Nina, or just how busy scientists think this year is going to be, look for Eye on the Tropics coverage on 13WMAZ.com.